Welcome back to another PMR30 ammo test video and this time we're doing it with good old-fashioned Federale uh, 22 Winchester Magnum uh, the champion full metal jacket 40 grains and of course that's 50 rounds and 1880 feet per second and that's probably going to be out of a rifle barrel because it does not say on here as you can see we fired 20 rounds as per our testing on all of our videos for the PMR 30. Uh, before we go on, you notice that uh, I lost my front sight post. I've seen that in the other two, three videos, and my RMR does not adjust down low enough at seven yards. It's because I'm shooting at seven yards. Uh, we may go further later on in testing, but we'll have to wait and see how that runs out because I got a 22 Magnum rifle I need to shoot too, and I'll be shooting that at those ranges or longer. Anyway, so we did have a situation where I had a round that was not feeding. I dropped it out of the magazine. You'll see that in the range footage at the end of the video. Also, you'll notice that um, obviously it was due to rim lock because it, it just went up a little bit. If you don't load these in, and if you don't know what rim lock is, I guess I should show you even though I've been talking about it the last two videos, but if you own any type of rim fire, you should know this, especially if you own a 3030 Winchester. So rim lock is when you go and put these on here, they're staggered. So you want the top rim to be on the inside of the rim on the bottom of the case like that. See, rim lock is when you put the top over that and then it does funny stuff and it'll lock and it won't go for it because it can't because it's pushing both rounds at the same time or like this. So it's pushing both rounds at the same time. So it'll do crazy stuff. So anyway, let me put this live round up back in the box because I do not uh, like to keep live ammo uh, while I'm doing videos safety purposes uh, magazine is empty okay you notice no magazine in the gun slide lock back and it is empty of course which and I'm gonna say this probably all the videos I wish uh, Keltec would make a 17 HMR drop-in barrel because it would just be a simple barrel swap uh, the magazines are the same and all this and that but anyway um, we had one rim lock um, happen on the federal ammo, and honestly, with a with a center fire or with a rim fired uh, weapon, a semi-automatic pistol on top of it, that's pretty damn good. And it's probably only the third time that's ever happened to me, and that's mainly because uh, of user error. I I loaded the magazine up wrong, and that's what happened. So anyway, please like, share, and subscribe to the ammo or to the channel and if you would like a pacific ammo tested uh 22 magnum wise um you're more than happy to contact me and send it and send me a box or send me 20 rounds uh of 22 mag and i'll and i'll do a video on it for you so in this gun especially if you're on the fence about buying a pmr 30 uh buddy of mine had one i went and shot it um you could consider this the poor man fn57 for a long time until the dagger to the rock dagger rock came out um you know 22 mag is very similar to uh 5.7 not to the point where uh they're equal but velocity wise they're getting pretty uh, it's pretty close um Mac from the Military Arms Channel did a comparisons video from 22 mag to uh, um, 5.7, you know, and the 5.7 by 28. And the video convinced me, one, I wanted a 22 Magnum pistol, um, which I got. I don't have a 22 mag revolver. Yeah, I do. My Heritage Drift Rider. And, but I wanted a semi-auto. So, I went with the Caltech here, I like the blue, favorite color. And uh, I consider it a poor man FN57. And I also, it's pretty damn reliable, um, especially when you can carry, um, you know, almost a whole box of ammo in one mag. You can't beat that. I've actually carried this sometimes inside the waistband, which I don't like, which I like carrying it this way. Uh, with this gun, it doesn't bother me as much. It weighs nothing, even with a full mag. And it's still got stopping 
stop the old average of stopping power. Of course, everybody knows that uh, shot placement is king, but with 30 rounds to throw down range, um, as long as you're hitting your target, I think you'll be good to go. Um, at least for the two-legged type of animals. But anyway, Victoria's poking at me. She wants to run, She wants to put in the range footage with the federal ammo in it. So hey, check it out, and uh, we'll catch you next time. Please like, share, and subscribe. Remember, it costs nothing to be kind to one another. Welcome back to War Pack Daughters, and we're going to shoot again with our PMR testing ammo because it says specific, specific ammo that's not to use. So we're just going to try a whole bunch, and then we'll read the manual. So we got. Uh, Twenty-two Winchester Magnum, of course. Oh, well, there it is. Forty grains of Federal. It could have been rim lock. Let's try it again. back on the last mag. Uh, not too bad for uh, just one hiccup. Of course, that might have been me when I reloaded the magazine because um, that's something you got to worry about with rim fire cartridges is rim lock. And this might have been what that was. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And we'll catch you next, folks, next time.